Epilepsy is a neurological disorder, characterized abnormal synchronized brain activity, which causes outward effects, shaking movements and movements are uncontrolled, sometimes leads to loss of consciousness, loss of bladder control, broken bones, the tongue may be bitten or other physical injuries may result. Epilepsy is a disease when at least one seizure occurs and there are further risks for seizures in the future. Sometimes seizures are local and less generalized. It is called a focal seizure. Generalized tonic-clonic seizure means contractions are bilateral and including tonic and clonic muscles. Tonic seizures produce constant contractions of the muscles. A person often turns blue as breathing is stopped. A cry may be heard due to the contraction of the chest muscles, followed by a shaking of the limbs in unison, clonic phase. In clonic seizures, there is shaking of the limbs in unison. In majority cases, seizures start as focal and they may become generalized. Jerking activity may start in a specific muscle group and spread to surrounding muscle groups, in which case it is known as a Jacksonian march. Before seizure begins, often preceding an aura, a perceptual disturbance. They include sensory, visual, hearing, or smell, psychic, autonomic, and motor phenomena. Most seizures lasting less than two minutes. After the seizure stops, the person needs 10 to 30 minutes to recover. This phase is called postical phase. About 40% of seizures are non-convulsive, meaning muscle involuntary contraction and shaking is not represented and characterize the decreased level of consciousness and usually lasts about 10 seconds. If there is a direct and explainable reason for seizure, it is not epilepsy. For example, low blood sugar, low blood sodium, fever, alcohol withdrawal, brain infection. Such seizures are called provoked seizures. Feigning is not epilepsy. Syncope, also known as fainting, is a loss of consciousness and muscle strength characterized by a fast onset, short duration, and spontaneous recovery. Management. Rolling people with an active tonic-clonic seizure onto their side and into the recovery position helps prevent fluids from getting into the lungs. Putting fingers, a bite block, or tongue depressor in the mouth is not recommended as it might make the person vomit or result in the rescuer being bitten. If a seizure lasts longer than five minutes or if there are more than two seizures in an hour without a return to a normal level of consciousness between them, it is considered a medical emergency known as status epilepticus. At home the recommended initial medication for seizure of a long duration is midazolam placed in the mouth. Diazepam may also be used rectally. In hospital, intravenous lorazepam is preferred. If two doses of benzodiazepines are not effective, other medications such as phenidoin are recommended. The mainstay treatment of epilepsy is anticonvulsant medications, possibly for the person's entire life, including phenidoin, carbamazepine, and valproate. Evidence suggests that phenidoin, carbamazepine, and valproate may be equally effective in both focal and generalized seizures. Causes Genetics is believed to be involved in the majority of cases, most are due to the interaction of multiple genes and environmental factors. Epilepsy may occur as a result of several other conditions including tumors, strokes, head trauma, previous infections of the central nervous system, genetic abnormalities, and as a result of brain damage around the time of birth. It is called acquired epilepsy. Of those with brain tumors, almost 30% have epilepsy. The diagnosis of epilepsy is typically made based on observation of the seizure onset and the underlying cause, an electroencephalogram, e.g., to look for abnormal patterns of brain waves, and neuroimaging CT scan or MRI may be used to determine abnormal conditions of the brain tissue.